Okay, so um, Azure Virtual Desktop or AVD with um, traditional RDS, there are many differences really, but I just want to highlight four of them here, uh, just because they are the most important ones these days that I believe. First is how their control plane is delivered. So control plane is where the access control happens. Things like authentication, authorization, encryption, resource allocation, etc. In an RDS deployment, the control plane are actual servers and, and there are server roles uh, residing on some sort of server. That is some uh, things like RD gateway, RD connection broker or NPS for MFA. They all need to be on, uh, hosted on one server. But in AVD scenario, the control plane is provided as an Azure PaaS platform as a service. So you just need to set some configuration in Azure for the control plane, and the rest are managed by Microsoft. Um, another main difference is in the session host layer. In RDS scenario, the desktop sessions provided to the end users are Windows Server Desktop. Um, so when the user logs in, the desktop that they are seeing, that's actually a desktop of a Windows server. Whereas in AVD, the session can be a Windows server session, or it can also be a Windows 10 session, depending on what we choose for them. This is very useful uh, sometimes to give users the same experience as they have on their own home or corporate PC, which is Windows 10. In those cases, AVD will be a much better choice. Another difference is auto-scaling. Um, which is a very good feature of AVD and doesn't exist in RDS. We can achieve that by the mean of you know, comprehensive scripting, but, but natively it's not there. And that is the uh, AVD environment being automatically uh, actually scaled up or down depending on the requirements. Um, so let's say if you have our AVD environment in Azure, two, two servers are running just because there are 10, 15 users right now logged into. If they, more users come in and the server actually struggle with the resources, then automatically more servers can be added at the back end and they can be shut down afterwards uh, when that the users are logged off. This can significantly reduce the Azure costs uh, if used, and, and, and because of that, it's very, really uh, uh, common these days to use that. Another uh, AVD benefit is its native integration with Office 365 applications like OneDrive as well. They are somewhat integrated with AVD deployment from scratch when we, when we deploy that. Whereas in RDS, um, they, that, that is still achievable, but we have to do some uh, software deployment like FS Logics containers deployment and things like that.